Another extremely common smear campaign narrative that sociopaths will use against their target is wild claims that the target is emotionally unstable, crazy, or mentally ill. Again, usually an actual projection of who and what the sociopath is that they try and curl onto the identity of their victim. These people know if they can get other people to actually believe you're crazy, then they aren't going to believe anything that you're saying about them. The sociopath will tell people that you are a serial cheater or extremely promiscuous. Now the narrative becomes about what a whore or a slut you are and how damaged you must be to be throwing your body around to anyone who might be interested. Next, this is always going to be a part of the smear campaign if you have children, which is that they are going to say that you are an abusive or grossly neglectful parent. So these people will really go for the jugular. Like I said, nothing is sacred or off limits to these people. Just when you think they couldn't go any lower, they do. So now you're a child abuser and not fit to parent your own children. If the sociopath is someone you are trying to divorce or the other parent of your children that you are trying to leave, they will attempt and many times succeed at alienating your own children from you. Meaning they will try to make your own children believe horrible things about you in order for them to publicly reject you. This is the ultimate high for sociopaths, getting your children to falsely believe they are victims of abuse that never happened, teaching them that their parent who loves them is dangerous and to be feared is a is full-blown child psychological abuse. I didn't have any information. I didn't know anything. And the spirit said, your children are going to be removed. And I just, I cried out loud. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not ready. And God told me I'm done. And I, I just, oh, so mm. Satan has taken it's everything away from me that I love. And I'm a good woman. I don't do naughty things. I don't do naughty things. I'm a really good girl. Uh. Susie, I will do everything that I can okay. to keep <sighs> truth in our family. And Adults have a really hard time understanding that children can be full of evil and what that takes to fight it. You've seen what it takes to fight evil. It's not the person you're fighting. And it can look like something it's not. And you've been there, you know that. And so I don't know any adults who are going to see the truth. So I'm calm about this and I just pray that you'll hang in there this video of Jubilee so that I can update things with the cops and know exactly what she said and just in case she takes this video down I want this to be recorded somewhere so yeah yeah exactly so sorry Hags was just texting me so we're gonna watch this part of Jubilee's lives thank you yeah it is from stress and just from the sun like when I'm out in the sun too much or go to my um sauna I get cold sores but yes all the stress from Jubilee and Carly is what really is throwing me off here let me put on my other glasses I don't like those dark ones but hi Devin how are you love so I don't want to give Jubilee the attention but because this is like a serious police matter at this point I want to make sure that I see exactly what she said and that it's not just hearsay from me when I'm making these reports and um and updating the reports I've already made um I want to make sure that I know what she said and then if she yeah, switching accounts. Yeah, they always get my lives taken down. I can go live again tomorrow. I'll probably get the live back. But um, here, they can't mass report me. They can't take me down. But yeah, so Jubilee Briscoe, if you're watching this back, is someone who's been stalking me and harassing me and doing crazy shit to me for over a year. She found me on TikTok. She believes she's some sort of religious figure and cult. She like she acts like she's a cult leader. She doesn't have any followers, but she acts exactly like Mother God. If you know who that is, um, that's exactly what Jubilee acts like. Um, oh yeah, thank you, love, yeah, um, yeah, I got taken down, of course, by Carly in the mass reporting, um, 
but yeah like um she's been doing crazy shit to me for over a year she acts exactly like that mother of god cult leader except for nobody listens to jubilee but she acts like um yeah like just a crazed abusive spiritual narcissist who is in religious psychosis she has said for over a year that i'm her birthday present from god that she's going to do anything to try to silence me they committed crimes to get me off the internet they pushed me to a mental health crisis I almost took my own life at one point when I relapsed on alcohol from all the stress of this and all the lies that these people put out and they never stopped. Like this is just for people watching this back, but this whole group of people has never fucking stopped. And even Roxy and AMW and even fucking Samara Granovsky, they have at least like they didn't stop until recently, but now they have stopped. And Jubilee Briscoe and um, Carly Coleman and Johnny and Carrie Ann Brewer, none of them can fucking let this go. And now Jubilee is saying crazy shit on her lives. So I want to record this. Um, and I'm forced to report this stuff to the police. Like I'm complicit in child neglect at this point. Like she has admitted on live stream for over a year that she's not taking care of her child properly. And I've ignored that. And now it's time for me to take this very seriously. And she's saying that she can't care for her own child because she's so obsessed with me in this whole situation. So, um, I'm going to record this, uh, for legal reasons and for a lot of other reasons. So let's watch what she said. Before this, she went on a tirade about somebody who's a friend of mine attack my child. So when anyone asks, why did Jubilee have an entire channel As with Ali? One, it's not. It has a ton of people, including world leaders and celebrities. And two, she came for my child. I warned Katie Felton on April 30th, she came for my child. I warned all of you, she kept coming for my child and everyone's children. Now she keeps coming for my child. Does that sound like a smart thing to do if you're scared of someone? Come for their cub. When the mama bear terrifies you, no, that doesn't sound like something you do because Ali's a narcissist who just like spins the tail and people buy it. She is the goober nugget. The soci I don't know if she's sociopathic, but like with the influence and all of this stuff online, she might as well be sociopathic. Well, she's comparing me to Ruby Frank and uh, Mother God. What I, I don't remember what her name is. Uh, that was that was Mother God. Mother God abandoned her three kids in order to go and discipline other people's kids by doing horrific things to them and being mean to cats. That being said, her followers didn't kill themselves. They didn't really commit. She was the one who committed acts of atrocity and she's dead and they weren't the worst acts of atrocity. Ruby Frank was an influencer, had her kids on TikTok, was a bad mom when she was doing that, was a showcase being a bad mom. Uh, they didn't call CBS. Oh, they probably did call CBS on her, but CBS doesn't care if you're just putting your kid online um, or they run Eleanor, right? Um, then she was disciplining her kids to get the evil, the devil out of them. And one escaped and now she's in jail for 15 years. I'm neither Ruby Frank nor Mother God. I'm Jubilee, very different. I have had a psych evaluation, right? Thanks to my sister and Allie Priestley here. Um, Ali misunderstands Ali Priestley here. Um, Ali misunderstands the psych evaluation too. Like that means I'm now, and she's not allowed to go after me. Anyway, here, here's Ali going off on my sister and me and misunderstanding. She proves my point. Like what help was my sister offering? To steal my child for the summer, eight months from now? No, now. She was offering now to do that when my kid's in a school year. I said, Hey, sister of mine who doesn't know her niece, if you build a relationship over the next few months, she can come stay with you for a visit in the summer. I'm not sending my kid to a stranger. My, suggesting she have one-on-one -on -one video chats with her niece is what gave my sister the narcissistic injury. That she was that so worried, so worried, she needed to do what tears of tears all over her family. Um, but Ali's gonna say, right? Her own self. Why would someone? If I'm in a mental health crisis right now, why would stealing my kid help? Why wouldn't she look after both of us if she, like, nothing you say makes sense living in your parents' house? What is my family offering? 